Hello, I'm James Robinson. I'm a professor at Berkeley, been a professor here for many years, teach economics, economics of medical care, medical technology, such as drugs, devices, and diagnostics. And I'm very pleased to be uh, putting uh, on with you this OLLI course on uh, innovation healthcare this fall. So uh, my class is going to have six basic segments and learning objectives. And what I'm gonna do right now is just briefly summarize those and give you an overview of the class. Okay. So the first week is going to be on the financing of research and development in the life sciences. We're gonna compare alternative mechanisms of stimulating and financing R&D, including research grants, tax credits, patent protected prices, innovation prizes, advanced market commitments, et cetera. The second week is going to be on equity and access to innovation because clearly the purpose of innovation is to get valuable treatments to people who really need them, who are often the most disadvantaged members of our community. And so we're going to raise, raise all kinds of issues and discuss issues about rare orphan diseases, um, and different kinds of um, trade-offs in access and who should get what first, second, and later. The third week is going to be on the FDA and regulation of market authorization for drugs and devices. We're going to talk about uh, what is the evidentiary requirements that the FDA um, poses for manufacturers and how are those changing over time and the trend towards accelerated review to get products onto the market faster and cheaper, but at a trade-off that products are coming on with less evidence of safety and efficacy. The fourth week is going to be around the insurance coverage process. We're gonna talk about uh, intellectual property policy, such as patents and regulatory exclusivity and uh, health technology assessment, really the different components that go into the decision-making by insurers such as Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurers as to whether they should pay for new treatments and tests. The fifth week is going to be about drug pricing and in, uh, its role in the investment process. Really, the prices of drugs is a very controversial topic in the United States. Um, many people feel that prices are too high because they pose barriers to access for individuals. There are budgetary burdens for employers and insurers and government. On the other hand, high prices generate the revenues that the, that the pharmaceutical manufacturers use to invest in R&D and that the venture capitalists use as um, a return on their investment in the startups. And so how do we balance that? We'll talk about that as well as the Medicare uh, drug price negotiations that are beginning this year. And the final and sixth week of the class <clears throat> is on investment and access to innovation in a global environment. The first part of the class is mainly gonna be focused on the United States, but now we're going to look at the role of competition, not only among firms, but among nations, and in particular competition between the United States and China for a leading role in the life sciences, as well as other technology-based industries. And that has very important implications for science and medicine, but also for military and economic well-being. Right? So in each, so each week, what I'm planning to do is start off with a presentation, a lecture, if you will, and PowerPoint. But then very quickly, I want to encourage you all, the participants, to raise your perspectives and questions so we can have a reciprocal back and forth and a more engaged um, approach to this class than we would otherwise. So that's what the class is going to be. And I look forward to seeing you in class very soon.